Hello, hello, and welcome to the Best Vinyl Cutters. We have a super duper cool tutorial for you today, all about the Cricut Design Set Design Space Offset, which you can use on either text, shapes, or images. It's tons of fun to play with once you get your head around it. What exactly is an offset? Well, you would all know that if you have text, it would come up like this. If you do an offset around the text, you basically create this shadow border that runs behind your text, which is fabulous for when you want to make stickers. And it's also brilliant for when you want to layer your decals on your shirts and stuff like that. So let's have a quick look exactly at how we can actually create this from scratch. So number one, I'm going to start off with text and I'm just going to type out my name. So my name is Jolene. Nice to meet you. And I'm just going to leave it on the Cricut Suns, but you can, of course, go ahead and change the font if you would like to. From here, I'm going to make sure that I've selected my text by clicking on it and I'm going to click on offset. And here we have the ability to play with a few things. So number one, you'll see that I now have a blue border that runs around my text. We can make this either bigger or we can make it smaller if we wanted to. I tend to like mine quite close to my letters. That's just a personal preference. Now from here, we can pick a corner. Right now you can see I've got a slight curve here on my corner of my N on the blue line. If I change this to a straight edge, then I will get a straight edge corner. I find that the straight edge corner often gives me problems though. So if I just had this slightly adjusted, you can see that a weird thing is happening here at this corner of the end. If I click on apply, you'll see what I mean. So I really don't like the look of that. So keep an eye out for that because that is something that I've definitely noticed. And I tend to just go with a curved corner just because of that. It just gives a bit of a cleaner look. So I'm not too sure if they're going to improve that in the future, but that's something that I've noticed. So I like to have a close border. I like to have the curved corner and then I always have the weld offset ticked. So right now you can see that our background is joined here at the N and the E. You can see we've got no line running down in the middle. That's because they welded together. If I untick this, you'll see that I now have a line that does go across the end and the end goes across the E and they're separate, which means that your cutting machine will actually cut into those pieces. If I go to make it, you'll get a bit more of a better impression of what's happening. Oh, I actually didn't click on my offset. Hold on one sec. Let me do that again. And I'm just going to click on apply. So if I go to make it, you're going to see that my letters are all separated out because I didn't weld them together. However, if I actually go and weld my offsets together, let's do that again. You will now see that my background is one solid piece. So I always leave mine, un mine ticked. It's ticked automatically. So I just don't stuff around with it very much. All right, let me go back in here and do this properly. So I like to have my border pretty close by and I like to have the round corner and I'll leave that as ticked and I apply. So now I instantly have a background that I can play with. So you can change the color of this if you wish. So you can go into your offset. So click on your offset layer, go to the colors and from here you can change the color to something different. We can also add more offset layers to this. So what we can do is to select both layers by clicking and dragging a box around both and going back to offset again and doing exactly the same thing and clicking apply. So now we have an even more detailed, beautiful little decal here. Again, you can change the colors if you wish. You also have the ability to move that layer, of course. So once it comes to applying this to your shirt or wherever you're going to pop it, you can actually have this background layer slightly off center to create a bit more of a 3D shadow. So if I do this, I just have to rebuild it because that one was hidden in the back. Instead of putting it right in the middle in the center behind the letters, I can actually now drop it down and to the right slightly and look at that. Now I've created a 3D look to my letters, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, so you can really have some fun playing with this stuff. Let me just group this up and I can show you a few different variations. So we could have them all centered like that. We can also, of course, just have the two layers. Then, of course, we can have, let me move that one to this side. So those are the centered ones. And we can, of course, have two layers, but have the bottom one slightly off center to create that 3D look. So we have quite a few different variations that we can play with when it comes to offsetting your text. Tons of fun. We can keep going. I could even add another offset layer to this one if I wish as well. Now, as I mentioned, we can do exactly the same thing with our images. So if we go to images and choose that, let me just select all of those and group them together so I can hide those. If I go to images, we can grab an image and we can offset that as well. So let me see. So I could grab a quote, an image, anything that I like. And I can do exactly the same thing. So currently these are all cutting out separate pieces. However, I might choose to actually put something behind that. So I'm going to choose offset and I'm going to make sure I've got the round corners. I've got it all welded together. And from here we can play with this. Let me just move that to the side so we can actually see it a bit better. So if we wanted to have a full background, all we need to do is move the slider around and you can see that we now have a full background to our image. Now this is really, really helpful if you want to make some stickers. So stickers often look really, really cool when they have a tiny bit of a border running around them and we can make that with an offset. So from here, I can simply click on apply and now I have a beautiful quote, whoopsies, I have a beautiful quote with a awesome offset background. It even looks pretty cool with a black, but of course we can go ahead here and we can click on the offset layer and change this to a white so that if we're doing a sticker, we have a really cool printable sticker. Let me change the background color for you so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to change this to, should we change this to, let's change this to a gray. There we go. So now you can see my sticker much clearly. And from here, if I wanted to turn this into a sticker, of course, I need to select everything and I need to flatten it. So I've selected all of my layers and I'm going to click on flatten. And now it's one sing single image with a print then cut. If we print this out, our Cricut is going to cut around this white border. So we'll have a really beautiful professional looking sticker or die cut, which is really cool because that's one of the things that I absolutely love with stickers and it was a lot more complicated to create in the past. So offset makes this super duper easy. So there we have it. We have shown you how to do offset with text. We've also shown you how to do a simple 3D shadow with the offset and text. And then we've also shown you how to use the offset to create a really cool white border to your stickers or your die cuts and create some print and then cut projects as well. So I hope you have absolutely tons of fun with this feature. It is loads of fun to play with um, and you can really, really step up your projects a lot by playing with this. Until next time, bye for now.